Uh, so that, I'm not sure what happened there. We're probably not going to make the long trip uh, to Yuma this time around. Because I don't know if it's going to be doing this. I recently uh, reinstalled the flight sim so maybe it doesn't have all the updates. Maybe my computer needs updates. I don't know. But, you know, that's what life is at this point in time. So we're just going to do some takeoffs, some landings. Uh, uh, on KGYR, and then we're gonna see how good and how bad we could possibly get. Are we gonna crash land? Are we gonna land correctly? We don't know, but we're gonna have fun with it. So much fun. The fun is gonna be just spilling everywhere. Not really, no. but it's gonna be fun. So we're loading up right now. We're as you can see, it is hot here. Oof. Uh, all right, so we're about close to 75 percent, about like 65 right there, and then we're ready to go. Now, if you ever want to actually have a flying session, go out there and go flying together. Let me know. That'd be something cool to do. I think uh, this thing does support the world as we speak, so. There we go. We're gonna set it at KGYR and KGYR. So we're in Goodyear Airport. We're taking off on runway 210 and landing on 030. Alright. Maybe we should do like the um, the introduction stuff of this. Maybe that should be like a, another day on that. You like my elephant? Big elephant. I think next time we should start off with basically pre flight and what the notion of that is. Uh, setting up where we're going. We're probably not going to go anywhere. We're probably going to just stay around in the Arizona location. That's my home base apparently. So and then we move to New York, California. Maybe we should actually design a trip for this. Do a world world tour with like the slowest plane ever. Why we should take the. Uh, The icon right now. Alpha ready for and, uh, straight out and land one. on water also. Alpha Sierra, this Sierra, just Alpha, altimeter, two niner, decimal, back in bed. Take the yokes out. And just as a remembrance, this is basically my... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's what it is. I had all my settings down, so... Gotta get them going up again. Clear. Now we cleared. So we're gonna set trim down to two knots down. That means we are at how many degrees down? Uh, that's ten degrees of flaps. So I'm assuming that first notch is five degrees. Uh, we're gonna take off the brakes. Nah, I guess we're not taking off the brakes this way. Here, taking off, we're taking off. Full mixture, flaps down, full throttle, pulling out. And what we want to make sure is that we stick uh, in the center as much as you can. Um, great, so my my rotors are not not active. Why not? Did I even connect them? Alright, so this is a board mission here. <laughs> oh, great, we're in the air now. That sucks. Okay, so my rotors are not, not active. Because I forgot to connect them. You see? This right here is what's going to make us turn with our pedals here. Oh my god, I completely forgot that. Maybe that's why we were all wonky when I was present in earlier when I go and 
Oh my god, there you go. And... Yes. Keep the box. Control options. Sa, 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 sa. So the rudder. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, let's resume flight. Alright, see, now we're moving. That makes more sense. Alright. So now that we have taken care of that, let's make a let's make some UEs here. Get the flaps up a little bit. Obviously I'm not a pilot. Awesome. We have our reference, our reference point uh, right here in the VFR map, so we know that we're not going to get lost while we're doing all this. And we should be... Yeah, there you go. At zero three, because it's the heading that we came out from. Now we're gonna turn around when we kind of look about three, like a mile out. Let's look at the airport. That's the airport right there. Bring in all the flaps. So our airspeed is about a 90. We shouldn't try to go higher than that because we are stopping going. Look at that beautiful thing. Making a turn, let's reduce power. We're gonna set up flaps right when we are in the turn. I think we should have gone further out so we could actually do a proper proper turn. I think we're too close, like way too close to the airport. So next time we'll just go further away. Out. We need to keep it on our horizon there, and there it is. Pretty little thing. Okay, so we're gonna come in. We're doing 90 knots right now. We're gonna reduce our full mixture, reduce power, put flaps on, landing flaps, and then let's fix the trim a bit more. We're about 1.75 miles out. We are way too close for this, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna figure it out. Now, when you are flying, the rudders are semi kind of useless, but when you're landing, they're the most important ones. So we're getting close to a mile in, we're at 500. And trying to get it as close in the middle as possibly can. The slower we go, the uh, less control we have. See how that goes. Now we're pulling up to give a little bit more power. We're losing altitude real quick. And just keep it there. Reduce the power. And 
haven't done this in a while. Ah, uh, I'm starving, and that's what you're supposed to be doing, but this always freaks you out when you don't see the road, and we landed. Oh, we semi-landed. <laughs> okay, so two notches of flaps up. And we're gonna just get out of here again, full throttle, full mixture, always. Oh, uh, that's where I that's where I actually wanted it at. Cool. So we're about 80 knots. We're gonna go up, and that's how it grabs you right there. Sweet. A bit windy. Oh, I don't have any laps on this one. What the heck? Alright, flaps all the way up. That's what the plane wants to go down when the flaps go all the way down because that's basically what the wing is coming down, so it's elevating you. Alright. Alright, let's make a left bank here. We're still increasing our right, airspeed. That's one of the toughest things you want to do is basically churn and keep elevation where you want it to be at. So, fighting this right here because we're fighting altitude the entire time right here. So let's go let's go back into zero three zero. We're going back to two five, that's what we want to go at currently. Alright, fix that. We are passing the airport right now. Can't see it. No, it's right there. It tells you how far you are. 1.5 miles away. So we are turning into final and we gotta make sure we turn correctly into final. 
So we're gonna set some flaps in. And we overshot it, so let's make some correction. Oh, buddy. And this is what you gotta look forward to when <laughs> you do this. So you see those white lights on the side of the runway, the ones that are complete white, not flashing, behind the ones flashing. That kind of tells you, you know, how you're doing on your on your flight. So let's reduce some speed so we can start dropping. 500. We're at 500 right now. So it when they're white, they it tells you that you are overshooting it. But when they're red and white, that's where you're supposed to be at, right in a sweet spot. Now when they're both red, if you're coming at that angle, you're probably crashing. So gotta adjust it. See. Now we're coming too hot where we're supposed to be landing, so we're gonna pull up a little bit. And it should be correcting pretty soon. We're at 75 knots, let's reduce that. Let's just glide in, that's what we wanna do, glide in. Well, not really, but gliding in is a whole different issue, so. Nose has to go up. And a bit more. And semi decent. We want to cross instead of going straight. But it is what it is. Two flaps, then go. So, taking off flaps and the other ones uh, are different. Maybe that's where I want it to be at. My goodness. So, we're at 80 knots. Let's pull up. And the wind just catches you right there. So if you see we're probably gonna go here on this side, then make make a left bank right here and then just go out. Some flaps here. Five hundred. Of course, it says you're five hundred because that's relative to the the actual height that we have. I know it says a thousand five hundred feet though, but that is basically sea level. down a little bit. Well, let's take a look at this beautiful scenery. Da, da, da. Here two three. Let's uh, move a little bit further out. Oh wow! Right down there is uh, the Goodyear baseball complex. It wasn't Goodyear, so was, that's cool. The old University of Phoenix Stadium out there. We 
we keep some flaps then just to keep uh, airspeed. And that's what we can actually be doing right now is reducing airspeed. You reduce airspeed, you reduce flight. Oh, went the wrong way. Did you see? I'm um, fixing the trim right now, and it does not want to be fixed. And then this will allow us to actually have more more time to actually gauge what we need to do before we actually start landing. right there, Jesus. So, not much. Alright, let's set full flaps. Reduce power. We're about 2.2 point, 2 .2 now. And we're way, way high, so you can tell those um, those lights again are telling us that we're like super high compared to we're going to miss the landing area, so so super reduce on speed, let's glide it in, so we can hopefully land on this one. We're about 1.7 miles out. We're about 80 knots, so altitude too high, yes, that's what I know, we're fixing that, thank you. And then let's increase power just a little bit so we won't be losing glide so 75 knots that's what we're going to keep it at 70 knots there you go so we're still too high as it looks but we're diving in real quick so all right so we just gotta always gauge it so like it's this is like a kind of like an art Don't always get it right, as you can tell. <laughs> I got double, double lights. Just pull up, pull up. Well, that was a better landing. Uh, take our flaps, put one down, full throttle, and maybe I should just stick doing this for a while because it's really bad. Let's go back into the inside line. Got 70 knots and it just hooks you up in the air again. Actually, let's go to the other airport. See if we can find it. Alright, let's make our bank here. The elevation at five. Hooray. Reduce flaps. You can see how it starts dropping because it's no longer picking up air on that. Basically, flaps is you know the elevation of the part of the rear wing that goes down, so it could actually create more. Uh, more force. There we go. Oh, too much of an angle there. 
sir. And that's what we do. I think it's right over there and I think I see it. So let's reduce our angle here because we're reduce the mixture because we're not landing yet. And we're basically off. My brain seen a three and uh, someone was like, yeah, let's do that. It's like, no, 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 that's three, three, six. It was supposed to be a zero, three. But, but you can see those blinking lights in, in the front over there. Let me see if I, I don't know if you can look at them, but they're right here. That's another airport right there. That's the Glen I think. So yeah, that's where we're going. Now we have plenty of time, plenty of to go. We're just gonna try to glide it in as best as we can. Ooh, yeah. Wouldn't say gliding, landing, landing, land it in. Because gliding is a different type of approach. So we should be like about miles out. We're about 120 so let's reduce speed. About five miles, yeah. We're gonna mix uh, up all the way. We're gonna keep it in the 70s on the knots so we can actually have a pretty nice decline on that. And this is how pilots see things. You have to be aware of what you're looking at. So let's put our first set of flaps in. Let's gonna try to push you up. Technical let's adjust it by getting a trim in there. And then we got the trim now. Good junior tower Cessna and then Alpha we're still Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha frequency change. Triple digits here on the flight, so we gotta reduce tremendously. Good junior tower Cessna Alpha flaps. Sierra X Ray Golf Sierra Alpha is let's four miles northeast, 2,200 feet with echo to land. Alpha Sierra, now Sierra, our goal Alpha, is to yes, keep reducing altitude to our but we have to keep it in check, meaning we have to stay in course. Enter right? left downwind runway tree Cessna Golf Sierra Alpha. So we are losing major air now. We're getting a 70. Let's keep it at 70, 80 around there for now. And we want to line up. We're gonna line up. And that's one of the most difficult things in flight. It's actually uh, landing. Taking off is easy. Flying is easy for well, I don't know for what I heard. Five hundred. We're already at five hundred at two point five uh American miles away, so let's increase a little bit of speed. We're we're at sixty knots, so we gotta keep it at seventy. We're a bit low, so we're gonna always give power when really low, so we could actually get that height a bit more, so we don't be dropping. And that's what you gotta do: pay attention. You gotta pay attention. Come on! As you can see in this one here, the uh, the lights are on the on the left side and the right side because. Because we're coming in in the, uh, in the correct way, so so we're pretty much on a marker. I just slowed down a little bit. We're about 1.2 miles away. So and this one has four lights, and you can tell right there that it's telling me that I am coming to a good approach. And then we have to uh, adjust ourselves to actually keep it that way. So we're going to reduce power as we come in and we are we are now we're three white lights so we gotta reduce power so we could actually get back into that contingency there you go and then our landing are those two little markers right there that's where we want to aim at and then this is our final reduce power all the way through pull up a little bit let it glide let it glide let it glide and then land. 
Let's get the trim out. Now full throttle out. We're not really paying attention to that right now because it's fine. Oh buddy. When is hard on this one and they just barely pressed it. So we're at 70 knots. Going on 80 and then we're gonna pull up. And there you go. Ooh, what the hell? That was weird. I guess the gust of wind is pretty pretty rough in that one. So let's do the same thing with uh, Phoenix Goodyear. Goodyear Tower Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha is niner miles northeast, 1,300 feet. Let's now start banking on the other way. Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Alpha Goodyear Tower. That's what I thought. Altimeter two niner decimal this seven one wind zero four nine zero eight. So. Let's see if we can actually see the whole tower with the lights. But we're kind of like pretty low on the ground. We're still 500 feet. Yep, we see it right there. It's right here. Alright. So let's go a little bit high. Let's go at 2,000 feet. Now we can start cropping. Reduce the uh, the flaps that we have. Manually control them. The disc controls are very sensitive. So when I was flying the uh, beach mark, it was beach mark. No, not the beach mark. When I was in command of that aircraft. It was more controllable, but you could feel everything though, that's the thing, that's the difference. Alright. We see the lights. So let's try to um, make the landing. I think this will be the last landing that we're going to do. We're just going to come to a complete stop. And then that was it because we were already flying like half an hour into the other one, so it's a full hour of this. But maybe, maybe this is what we should do. Take one day that we just go out flying, just for the fun of it. Oh, there's so many things I want to do in life. You have no idea. I want to be a race car driver. I want to be. I don't know how to fly. Right, we're about five miles, 5.2 miles away. Flying up pretty good, pretty decent. Make sure it's all the way up. We're about 127 knots. And then let's reduce the power a bit. Maybe reduce the airspeed in our wings. We're about 4.2 soon. We're gonna start putting flaps in, making adjustments. Still about 600 feet in the sky. Oh. Now we're about plus eight around there. So we're gonna just try to do the work now. Do the work now before we get there. So we don't have to do much uh, adjustments. So what I'm encountering with when I put the flaps in, like I just did right now, because it keeps fall, you know, it keeps rising, is basically adjusted with flaps. I mean, with the. With trim, adjusted with trim. So we're about 1,900 feet. That's correct. How is it too high? Yes, it is. Correcting it right now. We're looking at it. So we're adjusting basically. There you go. We're getting close to it. We're getting better at it. Our speed is 86. Let's reduce that. We're coming a bit hot. We're at 500 feet 500. at five at 1,500. So. 
and then this this is when we start losing basically ground and control because we now have to use the rudder to make some little corrections here and make sure that we come in straight uh, because this is when you start losing all control so your stuff <laughs> of you're no longer flying it you're you're driving it so You gotta be aware of your throttle. Reduce a bit more. Be aware of your, your rotor, your ailerons. We're not super in the center, but we already passed where we're gonna be landing at. And we're landing, we're landing. Retract the throttle the way. And not the best landing. What's we'll what? But we made it, and that was a fair one. So, and now you're you're driving with your feet. We're just gonna park it somewhere. I guess we should have gone out in that one. So. Send the call to Sierra LP. You were not clear to land. Clear the runway. We're not clear to land, that's what he said. But anyways, this is where we end up. And maybe, just maybe, oh look at that. Technical Sierra LV, you were not clear to land. Clear the runway. No, we're stepping right here, sir. Not ideal, but this we're gonna end up the stream on this one. It was just a little fun. We did 37 minutes of this one, he said it's like, yeah, let's do about 20. Uh, and I'll make a plan to actually Technical maybe Sierra set Alpha everything up, and then we'll we'll see what's going on. I think we should do like a like a grand tour, but in the sky, possibly. All right, well, it was fun. It was it was actually real fun, and yeah, I think we're gonna do this. I just did it because there was I want to get away from the racing for at least half a day. So, hell yeah, hell yeah. Alright, catch you later, catch you on the flip side, and um, for those flying real airplanes, I envy you, but keep in the skies for those who want to be, like this guy here. Uh, support us, uh, set a like, be be a help, and then we just go flying, and we could actually put real videos out there. Alright, catch you on the flip side.